Hi, um, my name is Elvin, and I apologize in advance for my English because it's not that good. Uh, I created this video uh, because uh, I was tricked by an attorney, and I would like you guys to avoid that from happening to you or, or your family. Uh, his name is uh, Manuel Solis. These are his uh, logos. You know, the receipts that I got from him are actually from his office. Uh, as you can see there, it's card, credit card, $1,300, it's uh, a total of $1,500, uh, plus some cash, I don't have the receipts though. Uh, so let me tell you how it went down from the beginning. I went there because I watched his uh, show on TV saying that he was pretty good. I actually called the number, I made an appointment to the Huntington Park office. You know, I guess I was kind of fooled because I thought that he was there, so I went there, talked to his assistant, and he said that he was there, but he was not going to talk to just someone. I had to be a client, so I had to start making payments, and you know, start a case, more likely, so I did. Uh, as the time went by, uh, the case was for a uh, petition, <coughs> 130, I think they called it, and the amount of money was $500. I had to pay at least uh, $1,000 to start the case, or $500, but I decided to go a little bit uh, above that to get the case uh, done faster, more likely. Uh, anyway, so I was trying to cooperate as much as I could, even more, but um, these guys uh, never fill out the form. After a few months, ongoing back and forth, all I had to, you know, they were, they were calling me, making uh, appointments, and all I had to go, it, uh, had to do was to go there and make another payment. So, I kind of got tired and said, I want to talk to the authority or just give me the money back, let's get over with this, you guys are not doing anything, but you keep on charging me. So they uh, refused to pay me back the 1500 and also the money order that was sent for immigration, which is 400 and something. Uh, they kind of kept that all the money. Uh, and, you know, that isn't fair. Uh, I've been calling them since then, it's been 2002, now it's 2000, 2012, now it's 2015, so more like three years. And it doesn't matter, I call them, they refused. Uh, they were not going to make payment because they take the time they waste or spend. But they, even, they didn't send anything out, they didn't feel anything. It's, you know, it's crazy. They didn't uh, fill out the form. Uh, all they did was pay for me, get the money, and that's it. And, you know, more, more likely, that's why I was looking for an authority, not a uh, public uh, notary, as they call it, because I want something to be, you know, straightforward, clean, and, you know, these guys are tricky. Uh, even though I have a clean record, I have no tickets, nothing, uh, they didn't, you know, say that because any of that was affecting my case, they just sit back, get the money, and that's it. Uh, anyway, for those that have a case with them, for those that got their fixed case, and for those that are planning on going there, I have an advice. For the ones that got a fixed, good luck. For those that are in there, actually for the ones that got their case fixed, uh, congratulations. The ones that are there, uh, good luck. The ones that are planning on going, I suggest you think about it twice. Because uh, they will trick you, they will not, they will not do anything for you, but they will keep your money. They might even get you in trouble uh, if they couldn't do. I mean, well, in my case, they, it's not that they could; they, they decided not to do anything with me. Now, for those that got their case fixed, more likely they will say, you know, that this isn't true because they are good guys. Let me tell you something: they gotta do some good works, otherwise they wouldn't, you know, do anything. Uh, nobody gonna recommend them. Uh, more customers and people. So 
so sometimes they gotta do things right so they can get more uh, clients but you know most of the time they will you know what I mean they I mean any authority might treat you it is really tough to find uh, an authority that it's uh, fair and that will not try to just keep get your money most of them that's what they what their concern is to get your money not to help you so if you are into that kind of things you know well I can say it's cool luck now on the other hand you want to clear things out I don't work for any uh, legal company or anything like that I'm doing this because I lost uh, more than 1500 bucks and if that money can be used to help you not lose yours and you know that's something in return you know in my case that's good enough for me if you don't lose your money and we can use mine to avoid that from happening but as I said uh, once you get on once you give these guys a penny forget about it even if your case fails your case moves on and then you decide to move on or if you if, if it is it doesn't even start they will keep them the money they will not give you anything back and even though if they don't do anything as long as you pay them that's it you're done your money's gone so for all of you who lack out there I also know there are companies out there that can help you when this happens but um, unfortunately that requires a waste of time too uh, and the only thing you might get is just their credit to be uh, to get lower maybe as attorneys uh, but guess what in my case I uh, have family so I gotta feed them I gotta work I cannot afford to waste time on that so the sure the easiest way for me to you know inform people out there is creating this video do not play with this guy do not start a case with them if you haven't tried to find someone else that is better these guys are tricky they lie and they will steal from you at the first chance they get they will do it they will keep your money and voila you're done and if you are with them right now do not pay them in advance try to make keep the payments low as slow as you can so if you lose at the end you won't lose much all right so we'll let you go and of course if you want to contact me i guess this video will you know keep some info so you can contact me and I'll be, I do my best to answer some of your questions regarding this guy and maybe a couple more. Alright, good luck.